Hey, 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 back with it again. What's up, guys? It's your boy, F R W E, you know me, coming back with another one. Just thought I'd come back with one again. Um, this one is not going to be a gaming um, video. This is going to be kind of a look at, um, you know, we're just going to look at an app that I came across. I've, I've been, um, you know, people have been telling me to check this one out. I, I knew about it, I just never really looked at it as you know up until maybe the last week or two um it's it's a app store basically so that gave it away and what it is called it is called app toy let me go ahead and um, get over here okay so it is called app toy and um basically like i said it's it's a third i, I don't want to say third party i'm sorry it's a um well it could be considered third party i don't know it's a open source app store and um it, it um you kind of i guess what they say is you it's different than the google play store you know unlike the google play store there's not a unique and centralized store but each user manages their own store so i guess that's basically um you know it, it, the whole thing they try to go on but to me you, you kind of already even though google play is, is a you know a, a centralized store i guess as they say it you still manage your apps per user you know you go in there and manage your updates and your install and uninstall and all that so you know i i don't know what they exactly mean by that but um you know it, it is an alternative to the google play store you know if, if you want to try um, something that is a uh, open source to say a little more um, you know another alternative and, and so is the um Amazon App Store as well. It's another alternative, but um, App Toy TV and the um, Android TV Store are fairly similar in layout. To me, it almost looks like they um, like they're using the same template. You know, like there's maybe a template that they're using because um, the, the the menus and they're just pretty similar. Even even in, in you know the place of the um, search icon the i guess you could say the search magnifying search glass search bar panel or whatever it is and all that i mean you know they're they're fairly um similar as with amazon the uh, amazon underground app that that's got a little bit of a different layout it, it's you know it, it's not similar to um app toy and google play um but anyway let's go ahead and um, well first of all if, if you want to try app toy you know you can download it within the shield. You, you can go ahead and fire up your Chrome browser and go to apptoy.com. And from apptoy.com, you know, you, you got to make sure to choose the right version because they, um, they do have a version for smartphones and tablets and they have a light version, which I, I think it's, you know, if you have a lower end or slow, slightly slower device, I, I think the light version is for the, um, the smartphone and the tablets because it, it doesn't say you know like a light tv version or anything but they do have a tv version so you know i'm, I'm not going to go ahead and download that i think by now you guys have probably um, watched enough um, videos on, on showing how to download things and, and if you you want to find that out you can go ahead and watch some of my other videos where i, I believe in, in a few of them i actually do the download process but you know and i did i went ahead and um I used them. Um, I downloaded it within the Shield from a Google Chrome. I mean, I, I can go to my ES File Explorer, you know, and and show you what downloaded in the Downloads folder, which is you know the APK of this. So you you can um you can get it that way. I'm I'm sure you can go to their website and you know externally download it and put it on a flash drive and it, install it like that. So you know you probably have various ways of getting it on your Shield. But um, with that said, let's go ahead and take a dive and jump right in. Do 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 do. All right, cool. So we are in Aptoid TV, and like I said, everyone, Aptoid TV to me is pretty similar to um the Google Play. I guess you could say the Android TV Google Play Store. I mean, upon looking at it, you can you know almost see. Like I was saying, the um, the search panel is in the left corner. It's almost in the same place as it is for the Google Play um, Store. You know, they have their um, App Toy TV logo in the right kind of upper corner there. As with with the Google Play Store, I, I think it just has Google Play. Um, 
as you can see, like in the, the main center of the screen there, we've, we've got a selection of, it looks like thumbnails. And then under the thumbnails, you know, there's some icons there. And um, basically your menu on the left, you know, in the Google Play Store, I think we have four, um, four menu options. Over here, it looks like we have editor's choice, top applications, applications, games, my apps and settings. So we have six um, menu options. And, you know, you can scroll through your menu options and it, it'll, it'll kind of line you up with the um, with the content or I guess you could say with um, the categories that relate to that menu. So, you know, it, we're in the games menu now. If, if you want to look at the games, it's this um, red category. You know, we can scroll through all these um, categories here and choose whichever whichever game you're looking for. You know, if you want to play a role playing game, there's your role playing game category racing action you know etc etc um same thing with the applications the applications um menu is laid out just like the games menu you know to the right of it we got the uh, subcategories for all our applications so that that's pretty explanatory of itself you know if you're looking for a, a specific application you can try to see if it's uh in one of those categories so you know that's pretty pretty um, easy to figure out. I don't think, you know, you'll have too much problem navigating through um, those two sections. And it, it's, it, you know, it, it's our typical um, A button is to confirm and B button is to confirm, I guess, or select. And B button is to cancel or exit out. So, you know, let's just say we want to look at all the games category. I, I'm on it now. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And the, uh, the way you could tell you're on it is it kind of gets like indented forward. So watch if I move over to educational, you could kind of see it popping out a little on my screen. So, you know, I'll go ahead and go to all games. I'll press the A button and here we go. You know, it just brings a list of, I guess, all the games. It's ain't all the games. This is just what they have in the category. You know, I'll, I'll talk about, I'll talk upon that later, how, how to find um, more apps and more games. But this is just basically what probably, you know, is categorized as as their game category you know we can go ahead and, and scroll down it there's quite a few there's not a lot 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 definitely you know upon first look you might be like wow google play has a lot more but you know there's some in there <coughs> oh, my throat got a little windy today okay so that is the um that was the app, the games category, our games menu. So here's the applications menu. Same thing, you know, like I said, it's laid out the same way. If, if we click the um, all applications category, you know, now to go to all the applications and we can scroll down through them. But I don't want to scroll through all of them. It, it's quite a big list. So we'll go ahead and just leave that as it is. Okay, and then um, here we go right here. Once again, you know, we're in another menu now. This is top applications menu. And I don't know how they, um, I guess you could say, categorize these as a top applications. I'm thinking maybe they might be the um, apps with the most downloads or maybe the highest ratings. But, you know, we, we can go ahead. We're in the top applications menu now. And if you press right to move over, it'll get you into the... Um, now, now, you know, these are a little different than the icons that we had previously seen. Then the applications and the uh, the games menu, you know, these are um, thumbnail shots. This this is really similar to what you see when you're looking at the Google Play Store, you know, and you go into those, what is it like, top free games, top paid games. You know, they have their little subcategories. You get thumbnail shots here. So this is, like I said, top applications. And once again, I'm not sure how they, um, how they categorize these into the top applications. I don't know if it's... Um, you know how many downloads they've got and maybe they're like the most popular or what but it, it could be the by the rating too because if you see i mean four stars there that has four and a half cody has four and a half netflix has five so you know I, i'm trying to see if there's anything and this one has five too so you know oh youtube has five bomber friends has five so there's a couple that have a a couple that have five there so i'm thinking but you know that has three so i don't know how that got up there with the fours and fives but maybe it's just you know bbc iplayer i know that's f fairly popular you know that could be what it is it's got a lot of downloads or something so once again you know this is the uh, top applications um i guess you could say menu and these are the um, 
apps within the top application menu myself. I do not know how they um, categorize those. I, I'm thinking rating, you know, because there is a couple five. Uh, <clears throat> there is a couple uh, a couple five star uh, five star ratings there, but you know, I'm, I'm not positively sure. So that's that. And then, you know, another menu here, Editor's Choice. This is just what the editors of Aptoid are feeling. You know, it's just a little list of, seem to be a couple apps and a couple games. So, you know, that's that. Okay. And then here's this My Apps section. It's, it's kind of like the My Apps section that there is on them. Yeah, I think the My Apps section on Google Play kind of allows you to manage your apps and what you got on your system and what you download and, you know, all that um, good stuff. So if we go to Installed Apps Now, what I believe this is, is it, it'll show a couple apps that I have installed that I think are also on Aptoid. You know, they're on Aptoid servers or just on Aptoid's database or whatever you want to call it, um, you know, repository. Um, so the, these are, let's see, I have a couple here, you know, so these are basically, I guess you could say apps I have installed that, um, if, if I wanted to use Aptoid to, uh, manage them, manage the updates and, you know, uninstall, install, whatnot, I, I can go ahead and do it through here. So I got quite a few, you know, I, I'm not going to count, but there's a couple there and, you know, I, I won't select the app here because if you actually confirm and you press the A button, you know, like, you know how Google Play works, where, where you can um, look through these apps and these games and then press the A button, it'll bring you up to, like, the uh, description page where it has details about the game. And you can even watch a YouTube video and then, you know, there's a more, in, more info section that you can read, which usually has a little bit of um, written stuff about, about the game and whatnot. Um, right in this section of uh, Aptoid, it don't. So if, you know, if I just select one of these, it'll just right away open it. So, you know, we're not going to do that. But these are, are the ones I have on my machine that I believe I can, you know, update and just basically maintain and manage through Aptoid if I wanted to use Aptoid in, instead of Google Play for these ones. So, you know, that's what that is. <coughs> okay, and um, once, you know, here's another section right here, the updates. So this is just telling me, you know, this app needs an update. And as, as I just said earlier, you know, I, I can manage these installed apps that are um, also on Aptoid. I can manage them through Aptoid if, if I want to, you know, deal with my updates um, th here through Aptoid for these apps. I can if I want to, um, you know, like I said, uninstall them, whatever. So there's our updates. It's saying one game needs an update. And if you're downloading something and you want to check its progress, you can go here to active downloads. That's, you know. Once again, that's kind of explanatory of itself. Okay, so that is the um, My Apps section. And, you know, the one, if you see the one the, in it right there, I, I believe that just tell me that I have one update. We'll deal with that later, though. Okay, so now we are in the Settings section. And the Settings section is basically just um, a, a section related to your, it, you guys can see it on the screen. It says My Account. Um, and I'm not sure what the account is exactly for. It could be like how RetroArch has where you can, you know, sign up for an account and you, you can track achievements or whatnot. So, you know, if we actually click that, it has a couple options of, um, you know, of, I guess, signing in to an account. You can log in with Facebook, with Google, or you can actually create an account over at Aptoid. I'm sure, you know, you, you can, um, d I guess you can do that from here, from within the Shield, or if you were on aptoid.com on your uh, laptop or PC you could probably do that as well here's another option so if you're trying to log in and you you know you think you're entering the wrong password or something you can uh, retrieve your I don't know if you can retrieve it from there I'm, I'm probably thinking you can so that's pretty cool <coughs> all right so that's that and then um, this part right here the settings is just has a couple of settings related um, I guess you say categories, hardware specs, it, you know, if you see to the left there, it has a couple of hardware specs. There's one option though. The option on the right is, you know, filtering applications. 
So basically, it's just going to don't show applications that are not compatible with this device. But it actually shows, it does show applications that aren't compatible with your device. Because I'll, I'll show you later. We'll get to that. I'll, I'll save all that for the end, you know. Okay, and then preferences. Um, this, this is a couple other preferences, which are kind of cool. You know, allow remote install. So um, this is kind of nice. Let's just say you're not even at your shield you know you, you can remotely install from the google play store that that's what's kind of cool too but you know let's just say you're out and about or something and you're just browsing aptoid and you want to install now i don't know exactly how this works i don't know if you have to have um aptoid installed on your phone as well and then maybe you gotta like link them so then you know you could just push stuff from um your you aptoid on your phone to your shield kind of like how how i do you know from my laptop um, when I'm at Google Play, you know, so I can push it externally. I, I think it's probably some kind of thing like that. I, I, I'm also wondering if you can even, you know, go to the apptoy.com um, website on your laptop or your desktop and also uh, install apps like that externally. I'm thinking you could, although I don't know how, um, you know, how Aptoid works, if, if it works in that sense like Google Play does. But this option right here, you know, kind of tells me that it sort of does, you know, so you can allow remote install allows applications to be installed from your smartphone the only thing is is i'm just wondering if you actually need aptoid on your phone as well i'm thinking you do but something in, in you know something tells me that you could probably go to aptoid.com and maybe it'll have the app you know the apps on there like it, all the categories of apps or whatever and maybe you can push from there you know maybe it'll have like install options or something and if you click on it, it it'll ask you you know or it, it'll just say you know it, it maybe it'll detect i'm not you know i'm not positive so i'm not sure that works you guys know what that is okay and the remove data and configurations probably is almost you know pretty much cleans everything up starts you from a fresh um i guess you could say a fresh uh aptoid tv and the, the theme is pretty cool. I like the dark theme. I find it easier to read. But, you know, if, if you want something, that look, they have a light theme. So, you know, you could switch to the light theme. So whatever whatever suits you, you know. I myself, I, I tend to keep it on the, the dark theme right, right here. You know, I like it a little better. All right. So that's pretty much, that covers the, um, I guess you could say the menus on the left. And it's it's not complicated, you know. This is very similar to the um, Google Play Store. If you guys have got used to uh, using the Google Play Store on your Shield or, you know, even on it, just any Android TV device or, or Google Play, what do they call them, set-top TV boxes, um, this ain't going to be hard at all, you know. It's just, it's pretty easy to navigate, you know, up and down to scroll through the um, menus on the left. You, you get over by pressing right, of course, you know right scrolls you forward through the um, applications and games left will scroll you backwards if, if you want to go you know up up from where you're at you just go up you know but up down so it, it's um it's definitely not going to be hard I, I think most people will be able to install this and um, get to it right away so that covers pretty much the main you know i guess you could say the um the main functionality of it, we'll go ahead and just look at an app, you know, so you can see what it looks like. So, you know, if I click on Bloomberg TV here, you know, it, it's like, once again, it, it's pretty similar to the Google Play Store. You got a couple of options there, you know, here we have install. Of course, if it was installed, we'd have, you know, our options would, wouldn't say install. I think they would say open and uninstall, you know, so you can scroll down here and see some screenshots of it if you want. And sometimes, like, some of these games... It's just like the Google Play Store, you know, you can scroll down there and actually see a video. So you can watch a video and it, it'll connect to a video externally to YouTube. So that's kind of cool. And then if we go over to the more info tab, that, that's pretty much similar to the, um, is it the description tab on the Google Play Store? So now watch, I'll go ahead and click it. <coughs> Only um, on the Google Play Store, when you go to the description tab, you know, it's the same screen i guess you could say it just goes to another page as this one it kind of pops up a whole another screen so watch i'll go ahead and click more info and then see the screen that pops up but it, it, it scrolls up and down you know it seems to work fine and, and have the um 
the description about the app or game that you know you can read there and, and find out whether you want it or not. So that's kind of cool. You know, it also has uh, under the app you could see it says Bloomberg TV Plus. There's a couple of um, I guess you could say descriptors there, descriptions. It tells you what version it is, the size. We can look at some of the screenshots. You can even rate it if you want up there. You can write your comment. I don't know if you have to have Aptoid account for this. I imagine you do, but you know, there's so there's quite a, a few things you could do there. Um, you could click other versions and let's just say this latest version don't work, but the last one did. So you know, okay, well that's all they have. But you know, some have more versions. And then if you go to trusted app here, this just basically tells you that you know it, it's trusted through Aptoid. So it must it was scanned or something there we go scanned with aptoid guard plus two different antivirus so it should be pretty clean you know okay so um that's basically what it is guys you know it's not going to be too hard really for most of you i think most people that are um <clears throat> i think most people that have one of these devices except if you're really new you know then you might need a take your time with it but that I, I think even for a newbie you know there's not really much to moving through these menus and just you know hitting the a button to confirming and selecting things and the b button to um you know cancel and backing out it's it's not a whole whole lot here you know it's pretty similar to um our google play store basically it's just an alternative open source um store you know if you want to go about it that way and, and not be tied down you know because you you could use something like this and not even have a, a google account at all you know there's people that nah, i don't want a google account whatever i don't care about any of those services you know and then just go ahead i don't know though i i, I think you can still use i you know i have a google account and all that and youtube well, no, yeah obviously you guys you know but um i'm not sure if you, you know how the youtube app is in here i'm not sure i think you can still you know, download the YouTube app and you don't have to sign in or have a Google account or anything. I, I still think you can use, you know, a YouTube app or even just go to youtube.com and, you know, look at videos with, without even having an account. So, you know, I don't think you're tied down. But if, if you definitely didn't want anything to do with, you know, the Google, what am I saying, environment slash ecosystem, I guess you can say, hey, I'm using Aptoid TV because, you know, it, it has quite a few things here now you know upon looking at it guys i know you guys <coughs> excuse me guys now upon looking at it i know you guys might think well it seems like google play has more and above the surface they probably do but what i well, you know what i'm gonna probably end this um what we'll probably end end with here is looking at this search panel so you know the search panel screen once again look how familiar it is to the um, google play screen you got our um, our little microphone icon search in the uh, top left corner there so if if you want to uh search for um you know anything by voice there you can if you want to go ahead and uh, do it do just a text search you can so i'll just do a quick like general i guess you could say a generic query general query search so i'll type games for example okay and you know you <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> oh man so, you know, you could be specific, too. If you're uh, looking for a specific game, you can go ahead and type that. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to get a drink of water. It kind of got a little bit of a little bit of a dry throat here. Hey. Sorry about that, guys. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead. So, you know, we are here. Like I said, we did a general search in the search panel. You know, kind of a generic term. I, I search games. So, <clears throat> you'll come across this screen. And, it, it you know, the what they recommend sometimes is, is totally, you know, off. It's not even... I mean, this is it's a game app, but it's not a game. Moonlight Game Streaming and Vortex Cloud Gaming. And then if you come to the unfiltered results... It's kind of the same thing, you know, they give you a couple of results here that might, you know, this might be a game, real, and I know racing games, mind games, but, you know, where, where, the, where you get to um, basically um, get to see what, what's um, really good is if you see this see more right here with the plus, 
So we'll go ahead and click on that. <coughs> and, you know, if you can see in the top right corner, this says games. Now, this list is, is you know, going to be one of those ones that's pretty expensive. You know, I mean, I could probably keep going down and going down and going down. And it's not going to end for quite some time. So, you know, like I was mentioning, above the surface, it might not seem like Aptoid has a whole lot. But, it, you know, that... um. That search, search glass, I guess you could say search magnifying glass, search panel, whatever you want to call it, you know, search is your friend. So if you go to search and, and you just wanted to look for maybe some random kind of, maybe something that went under the radar, a little hidden, you know, this is where you're at. You go to the search panel and type games, you're going to come across, you know, just keep going and going and going. And now that, now you got to remember a lot of these games are, are are definitely probably not optimized for you know android tv let alone e even you know a any google play tv a any of our tv devices you know some of these might be older smartphone apps and games touchscreen you know tablet based apps and games so you're not guaranteed you know that everything here you know like let, let's just keep going you know you're not guaranteed that all these are gonna work <clears throat> now you might get lucky, you know, you might discover that one hidden game that, you know, and this is where, where what's cool about, you know, searching like this too, is this is where you're going to uncover a lot of the apps and games that, you know, might not be on Google Play no more. Maybe the developer abandoned them and they took them off or, you know, they just removed them from Google Play or they're old apps and games or, or they were just open source in their nature where they never even went on you know never even got to google play so you're gonna discover a lot here you know this is what what makes it cool and, and like i'm saying you know that's not to say that every one of these isn't gonna work you might find something that's just the thing you might you know they're, they're, you're definitely gonna have to um kind of go through all this stuff and and search a little and whatnot but you know you might you might get some but then do you know this is just like our other um menus with our games and our applications menu and whatnot you know it has your icons here which these are more it seems like um you know thumbnails compared to the icons kind of thumbnail slash icons so you know i go up down left right we just basically move in any direction that we um choose with our uh, d-pad our thumb pad so you know if i if i choose one now like let's go to the survival game so if, if i you know press my a button to confirm it it'll it'll get me to the um to the description page, you know, kind of like how, how we seen earlier and how you do in Google Play. So, and, and there you go. This app hasn't been tested on a TV or STB and might not work correctly. So that's just flat out telling you, you know, this app might not work for, um, you know, your, uh, your device for Android TV or whatever. And then, you know, you can, you can, information about this game is telling you how many downloads, 4K, what the size is. Here's some more info here. You know, boom, boom, boom. Other versions, you know, there might be a couple versions of this one. Okay, there's one. Um, it's trusted, so, you know, it's telling you it's, it's been scanned. Scanned with Aptoid plus two different antiviruses. So, um, that's that, you know. But that's pretty much it, guys. I thought I'd just go ahead and get into this, you know. Maybe this will um, be cool for somebody. You, n you never know, you might find some um, some hidden gems here that aren't on the google play or amazon store you know some some games and apps that might have went missed or maybe you know kind of more obscure more rare or just old ones that ain't really on the other um, stores anymore <clears throat> now like i was saying you know it's, it's going to be hit or miss for for us on android tv and something like the shield anyway you know it's going to be hit or miss but um you know, your compatibility rates, if, if you're using probably your smartphone or your tablet, are probably going to be a lot higher as I'm assuming with a lot of these, they are probably, you know, older apps or games or just, you know, a phone, smartphone and tablet based games that probably never had any intentions on ever making, you know, their self controller compatible or, or, or you know, converting to anything like, you know, a Shield um, or Shield TV or any of the um, Google set-top, I guess you could say, box devices or whatnot. So 
But, you know, you definitely got it if, if you want to spend time and, and go through something like this all day and say, okay, I'm just going to go through all this and, you know, click here, it says it doesn't work, okay, I mean, you know, I'm just going to see what about this game, click here, and says it, it might not work, you know, so <laughs> be my guest, you know, that that's, that's, and that's part of the fun, you know, just, just going through stuff and finding stuff that might or might not work. And just because it says it doesn't work doesn't necessarily, it says it might not work, you know, you might actually... Um, download it load it up and it might work so um that's pretty much that but i i think we're good guys so i'm gonna go ahead and call it you know i don't want to make this too too long it probably went a little longer than i wanted it to be but i think we got a fairly good look today at app toy tv um remember you you can install this on your shield so if you want to load up your um chrome browser you can go ahead and install it on your chrome browser <coughs> as well you know so or, or you can probably in, install it externally, I imagine. You know, you're not just limited. And it's not just for um, Android TV, too. You know, I, I assume it probably had a um, smartphone and tablet version even before the, the Android TV version. So, you know, they, they probably definitely did an Android TV version later. So, you know, if, if, if you're wanting something else on your phone or your tablet with an, another source of um, games and apps... Um, you know, free app store, open source, you are, you are more than welcome to uh, go ahead and install this. But I'm going to go ahead and call it. I think we got a fairly good look at everything. You know, once again, I'm pressing, the, I press the B button, you know, which usually backs us out, or um, cancels to get us out of that menu. So I'll press the B button again. I'll get um, out of that menu. And now we're basically, I guess you could say, at the Aptoid home screen. But um, that's about it, guys. I think we covered pretty much, I guess you could say, our main screen, which, you know, is pretty much our apps. Um, and on the left of the uh, main screen, we have, you know, a, a section off, which is our menus. And there's content within those menus, which is pretty much apps or categories that are related to apps. And, you know, you can go ahead and look through those. For example, let's, let's just go ahead and see these really quick. So, you know, we've seen all gives you all, obviously. So if I go to entertainment, you know, and click on entertainment, you know, here's their entertainment app. So there's going to be quite a few, you know, it's not going to be as many as all, but, you know, you see what you got there. So now let's go to something else, like let's go to shopping. So now there's probably going to be a lot less apps in, in the shopping category than there is in the entertainment. And of course, look, there is, there's two. I mean, they got AliExpress and Blockhead. So there you go. You know, same thing if we go to the games um, menu, you know, we'll, we'll click educational games and you know there's one educational game then if we click casual there's probably going to be a couple more casual which of course you know there, there's three casual so um, you know not, nothing that you should have a hard time um, figuring out or getting through but yeah guys I'm going to go ahead and call it you know like I said I think we did a fairly decent look today at Aptoid TV um, once again you can install it within your shield you can go to the google chrome browser and get it from aptoid.com just make sure that you know when you are there that you're actually getting the tv version because it seems like they have four different versions i've seen a tv version i've seen um well three i'm sorry three there's tv version it seems like the smartphone and tablet version are the same one and then there was a light version and, and i think the light version is also for the um, smartphone and tablets, it's just, you know, if you have maybe a slightly older, slower, underpowered device, you know, and whatnot. But um, I think we're good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call it. That um, should cover, you know, basically a, a little bit of a look of um, Aptoy TV today. As I mentioned, it, it's, you know, it's not just for, um, it's not just for Android TV. You know, you can probably use it on your Google Play set top box too, although I'm not sure how much mileage you're going to get with the Android TV version of it, you know, for one of the Google boxes you can try, but you know, you should definitely have no problem using the phone or tablet version. I'm, I'm sure they're pretty optimized to um, work on phone and tablets. And then, you know, if you want something that's going to be even, even a little faster, you can go ahead and go for the light version. But I'm going to go ahead and exit out now. So, you know, you can press the B button once again when you're at this screen. To get you back to your uh, shield home screen menu or you can also press the uh, you know the back arrow key so i'll press the b button i'll press it again all right so that is it guys it's your boy um f r -E -E. i'm gonna clock out and that's what's up all right 
Have a good one. Peace.